Welcome back to Tour Truck Tuesday. I've moved into the shade for good reason because these bad boys are gonna be hot. It's a fan favorite in the P790s. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Be sure to hit subscribe, hit that bell notification and follow along. I put on one video once a week every Tour Truck Tuesday. And this week we're looking at the player's distance iron category in the P790. Let's check it out. So tech-wise, what have we got here? Well, first out the gate, you'll notice some of them have got notches and some have not. That's for the testing purposes. I am gonna compare my six iron and nine iron in the P7MCs versus the 790s, but I'll be putting my 770 four iron against the P794 iron. Now, what can we expect to see, or what are we thinking here? Well, as you look from the bottom, you'll notice speed pocket, speed fold air, which is gonna come into the golf club through this section here. It's all about weight savings again. It's all about center of gravity location. Whenever you go for center of gravity location, it's gonna help engineers manipulate the numbers that impact how you, the player, hit the golf shot. So, flighted CG. What is that? Have you lost it? What are you talking about? Flighted CG existed in my P774 iron. That is why I love this golf club. If you don't play a P770 or a P790 in the long clubs, something could possibly be up with your game. Colin Morikawa played the P790 at the Open Championship and he got himself a higher launch out of that golf club. Because of AI, thick, thin technology, stick with me here, They've used weight savings in the back of the club. Of course, you can't see it. It's all going on inside, but that pulls the center of gravity lower in these long irons, giving you a higher launch, less spin, better peak height, landing steeper, helping your game. So if you're someone who struggles to get the golf ball in the air, especially with the long stuff, this could be the way to go. Let's test out the gate, the four versus the four. Stay tuned because it does change as we get to the mids and the short irons. It's not all in one spot, hence flighted CG. So let's lay one down with my own P774 iron. Let's go apples for apples. I really like this golf club. Bit of breeze off the left. Let's see how we do here. Pulled it slightly into that breeze, but you can see the high flight that I get out of this golf club. Peak height at 90, 4,600, 190 carry, which into the breeze, I'd probably take that. Let's go again, see if I can give you another one. Looking now at the 90 and the 10.3, 90 being the peak height. That's a good golf shot, and we don't need to hit anymore. You can see the window that this club's coming out at. Looking back at my full swing, 91. I've got a consistency. Both of those carried at the 190 number. If I bang on normalized, it moves it to 206. But let's get into the 790. Again, keep that in mind, the 90 peak height. The loft on this one is gonna be stronger than mine. I know my four iron sits at around about 24 degrees. This one's gonna be more like 21. So you are gonna get a bit more distance out of it that way because your spin number will come down. But bear in mind, stronger loft, let's see what the apex is because that's where the flighted CG is going to help you. Mass optimization is what they're calling it. I told you earlier about the AI in the back, the thick thin in the back, they've moved the weight around. Whenever you can do that individually in these irons, key individually, which you'll see as we get into the six and the nine, the center of gravity, the mass moves. Same golf shot, it's a bigger look than the 770, but it's intended to be in this player's distance category. You want a more confidence-inducing golf club, a little bit larger. I was launching those at 10, apex 91. See how we go. Little slip, I'm gonna let myself off. Even the slip though, 78 on the apex. So let's get one proper for you. Great that, strong. Remember, loft is stronger, hence the apex is lower. Spin is down, but my distance goes up to 196. That's the all important. You get the 196 out the distance. But again, for a stronger four iron, apples for apples, that is a hell of a flight. 
Got to be honest, bit of a tow miss. 9.1 on the launch, same peak, same yardage. Good golf shot, nice height on it. Peak coming out there at 70, so we've got the consistency, 4,200, and then into that breeze, 191. So it's the ease at which this club is coming out. Yes, the spin dropped a bit because the loft is less, but I'm still getting the launch, and I'm still having a peak height that is close, and that's really not a fair fight to my weak lofted 770. So let's take a look now, and that would be another number that I would just keep in mind. My weak lofted 770 versus what the consumers are. That's important that you understand that. I set up all of my 770 clubs to be back on where standard would be for what tall would be. So now I've got an MC6 iron. This is gonna be lofted around 31, same target. Should expect a nice height out of this, but I bet the yardage will be down. Don't need to hit any more of them. That is bang on. So that's a great marker for us. Spin, so important in these. That one hit pretty good. 6,000 spin, giving me a peak height of 96. If I look at the six iron now of the 790, remember I told you mass optimization, flighted CG. This is now higher to give me more control on the spin rate. So that was carrying at 162 into the breeze, launched at 14 and I was happy with that golf shot. And that's where you can just feel the speed off the blade. Hopefully you hear that sound. Launched at 14.2, peak at 81, spin was down, and the distance in the carry was up versus the prior golf shot. By, if I go normalized on these two, by about six yards. So that gives you an indication as to the power out of it, but also it's gonna highlight the consistency out of it because I'm still getting a good spin rate number when it comes to my six iron. Then if I get down into the wedges, again, start with a nine, because I only have the nine on me here, but slightly different look, you've lost the pocket, so it's gonna control the distances for you now. You're no longer gonna be in a situation where you're seeing any form of jumpers when you get this P7MC, it controls yardages. That's the whole point of it. But the P790 now is gonna give you that accuracy and control, certainly in the shorter clubs, because of the control of the center of gravity. So again, into breeze, try not to lean on it too much for the sake of the video. Good golf shot, good flight, good sound, good turf interaction. We, this is my club, so we know that it's a good one and I like it. Gives me a spin rate, 8,800, a carry distance there of 126. I go into the nine iron, just putting it behind, you're flicking between P7MC and P790. It's still got that sleek look. They have a sound bar in there as well. All this tech is all inside. So the sound, hopefully you can pick it up, is it's crisp. I mean, the iron I've just hit is a full forged iron. This one, obviously the hollow body construction, Great through the turf, giving me 19.5 on the launch, 132. And you can see the buildup of the yardages versus the other golf club. If we just get all shots on there, it's 126 to 132. So we're seeing a consistent jump in yardages through the bag whilst having consistent spin, consistent apex and consistent total. I'll hit one more just to show that but it's really about the consistency, the feel, and how they do directly compare. I mean, the, the four iron was four iron for four iron, a 770 to a 790. Yes, it came out longer. That's what the club's designed to do, more yardage, still with the height. Six irons were both under control, and then these short irons with a different center of gravity again. Great sound, faded a bit more into the breeze. I'd expect to see 8,600 spin maybe, 8,200 out of it, but look at the consistency in the carry, the 133 versus the prior shot of the 132. Consistency, accuracy, good turf interaction, 
great technology. This is going to be an absolute brute when it comes to buying golf clubs. If you're in the distance player's iron category, there's no way you can't look at these golf clubs. I've got them set up with the S-Taper 120s in both of them on my spec, and you can see consistently gaining about six yards versus prior clubs. Again, what would stop me playing them? Not a lot. I mean, they're brilliant. Through the turf, they're great. If I could get the height out of the four iron like that, that's what I want, that's great. It's a good golf club. Maybe I'm gonna have to test a bit more. Check it out in the links below. I'll put everything down there to the brand new P790. There's more tech on there if you wanna learn more about it, but go through your testing process. Hit different shots, maybe try them out the rough. Check out yardages out of there. I guarantee you're gonna get consistency. That's what we've changed about this with the flighted CG, but also get on to how easy it is to get that launch into that beautiful blue sky. Until next Tour Truck Tuesday, P790s are one you should definitely check out.